<laughs> so I guess this is actually fun. I mean, all recently there was an article that was released that says that, hey, researchers they did succeed in taking first 3D photo of coronavirus. And honestly, all this while, while watching the news, or reading various articles you see images of the coronavirus and you imagine that oh they've already made a 3d image photography of this particular virus and then when this came up recently i was like whoa okay i guess this is the first one that's ever taken and diving into this particular article which says here that so this is what you look like <laughs> until now there have only been computer graphics of the coronavirus. Now, Austrian researchers have photographed the SARS-CoV-2 for the first time in 3D. I guess uh, this is going to be a fun time to you know, go into the theaters, get your 3D glasses and get ready to go. I'm kidding. I don't think you need 3D glasses for this. But anyways, looking at the picture that was taken in here from this particular link i think when i clicked on that i was able to see something i'm going to show you guys very soon i'm going to play around with some of the interesting features that this particular software produced in here so this is from snip of uh, frozen samples uh they come from the company nanographics a spin-off of the vernia yes university of technology they have based on data from researchers at the Shingu University in Beijing. The Chinese scientists have succeeded in extracting, scanning, and digitalizing intact COVID-19 viruses particles in samples. In this process, the scientists managed to preserve the spike protein of the virus samples in their structure as best as possible. On the nanographic image, the coronavirus sample are closely packed together, but individual viruses can also be viewed, can be viewed in isolation and in this 3D picture. So when I clicked on this, I was able to check out what it actually looks like and hold and behold, here it is. So you can see a couple of interesting things happening here. Cool thing about this is that you can rotate the whole structure of this particular sample of COVID-19. Interesting things to keep in mind is that it is split in half, of course. This is the inside of the specific packaging of this particular COVID-19. And it actually reveals the nucleocapsid. And look at what's the protein, has the RNA strand roaming around and it's tightly packed in a way as you notice this would be i think a good lecture you know for students that are going into you know virology to explore in-depth analysis of this particular image and i was always a kid that in high school you know or university when you look at particular photos on the textbook you kind of ask yourself how can this be recreated in 3d so i can not only handle it in 3d but visualize it you know on the screen in 3d and it's amazing to see that you can have these interactive features on this particular software and you can see the outer which is on the right side of the screen and the outer which is what you look at but not what is inside has the spike proteins that was preserved to the best extent possible and a couple of spike proteins around i think you have possible envelope you no know, proteins around as well and you have the specific uh, nuclear membrane in this particular part right here so it's pretty much interesting to see this play out the cool thing about this as well is that there is a button that is shown right below here and this button actually helps you to drag to see the full image of the outer or the full image on the inside and you see ah, a little bit of something protruding out in here i don't know what that is it's kind of curious to see that play out so you can rotate it oh never mind it's not protruding out it's actually a cutout of the semi region so that's pretty sick i love i love to see stuff stuff like this it makes you to appreciate you know how much technology has evolved and underestimate you know various things that you think that you see on the screen or on tv concerning hey these are covid 19 particles so seeing this in here will be a great fun activity for kids, I would say, to recreate using maybe styrofoam or various interesting home materials 
of a particular trading model of the COVID-19 and maybe they can describe not only the specific you know anatomy but also the physiology or the function of this particular part of this particular virus so this is really wonderful stuff really great I really appreciate how much thought and you know time and energy and resources was put into creating this nano size particle nano size is like 10 to the power of negative 9 that is like almost the size of the nanoparticles that is used to package the coronavirus vaccines that are currently making the rounds around the world mainly the Pfizer and the Madonna's and it's quite incredible to see this actually scale being identified and visualized and and yeah honestly hats off to you guys great stuff but anyways i want to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below let me hear your thoughts about this particle oh you can rotate up and down i wish you could drag it down and up but you can only go from side to side but anyways that's interesting let me hear your thoughts in the comment section down below i think there's also an interactive view this is 3v well it's already enabled at the bottom and in here it says nano graphic video let me click on that oh that's cool that's what we have here so i guess uh okay so the spark button even a and membrane proteins okay that's pretty cool and what else again do we have open inside and voila there what you see uh specific lipid bilayer of course not the submembrane and that is the genetic information the RNA look at inside closely we have the RNA specifically and what else do we have here uh, we have the nuclear capsid protein so this protein is the RNA itself that is pretty safe nice and uh, what else do we have I think that is it I think so Oh, that's cool that's cool honestly i mean what more can you ask for if you want more information watch that video and you're good to go all the same thanks for following me through this trail i appreciate it please hit the comment down below let me hear your thoughts about this wonderful image by that way i can talk to you soon stay smart as always and believe in yourselves